Hi, do you think your home appliances are working in DC or AC power source? This is a simple circuit. The power source is 230 volt, which is from the electrical power station to the resident house. When the switch is turned on, AC current will pass through the resistor. The resistor can be motor of your fan. Once current passes through the motor, the fan will rotate. The resistor also can be a heater of your kettle. Once current passes through the heater, it will generate heat to boil water. Or the resistor also can be a bulb to light up the lamp. By the way, many simple appliances are operated in AC. How about some other electronic appliances like your TV, DVD, or hi-fi system? Do you think they are working in DC or AC? I guess some of you may say they are also working in AC because they are connected to the AC power source. In fact, it is not really correct. Those appliances are complicated and not just a resistor to let AC currents pass through. Although they are input from AC power source, they are not operated in AC. Most of electronic products are working in DC internally. This is the waveform for AC current. It moves forward, backward, forward, backward. The waveforms keep on to up and down. This kind of current cannot work properly in DC circuit. Most of DC circuits need constant DC voltage, like this one. So, although the input is AC voltage, the appliance have a function to step down the 230 volt AC and convert to either 5 volt, 12 volt, or 24 volt DC. This is a desktop PC. The power input is supposed to connect to an AC power source. This session is called power supply. It will convert the AC power to DC output 5V and 12V respectively. You may ask if these electronic appliances are operated in DC, why don't straight away using DC power source? The reason is these appliances consume high power. I take an example. The laptop is using battery to maintain its power when working outside. It is no choice as laptop has to be brought out for mobile usage. Most of laptop consume about 60 watt to 90 watt. Every time the laptop can be last for how long? Maybe maximum a few hours. Then it should be recharged the battery again. But some TV consume over a few hundred watt. If you use DC battery to operate the TV, I think typically can last for one hour only. Are you going to recharge your TV every hour? It is so inconvenient to use battery for those electronic appliances, right? So, since you won't bring the, your appliance outside for mobile usage, an efficient method is the power get from AC power source and convert to DC power internally. This is today's lesson. Bye-bye.